Hello and welcome to Superb Tech. In the previous four parts, we have assembled all the parts for our 3D printer and uploaded the firmware. In this part, we will prepare the printer to run it for the first time and have some test prints. So let's get started. We will start with placing the glass bed on the printer. Remove the plastic film on the glass bed and place it on the aluminum heated bed. Secure the glass bed using binder clips. Connect the power cord to the mains supply. Now we can control the printer with the display using the rotary encoder. Turn the encoder to select a particular menu or command and press the encoder to run it. We can move it in the X, Y and Z axis. We can also control the nozzle and bed temperatures and fan speed. Now we will do the bed level calibration for our printer. This is important so that our first layer is consistent and properly sticks to the bed. Home the printer. Then disable the steppers. I am using this piece of printer paper for calibration. Now move the X and Y axis to each corner of the bed and use the paper to measure the gap between the nozzle and the bed. Turn the screw knob to increase or decrease the distance between the bed and nozzle until you feel the paper is able to move with a little tension. Repeat the process at least two times and the bed should be leveled. Now we will insert the filament in our printer. Cut the tip of the filament wire diagonally for easy insertion. Insert the filament through the extruder motor and push it all the way to the nozzle. Preheat the nozzle to the material temperature. and the material will start to flow through the nozzle. Now our printer is ready for its first print. We will print this calibration cube from Thingiverse. Download the STL file, slice it using Cura, copy the G-code file to an SD card, insert the SD card in the SD card slot in the display. Now we can run the G-code using the display. After waiting for about 30 minutes, the first print was complete. But it was not that impressive as I had turned the cooling fan off. After turning the fan on and tweaking some other settings, 
I printed it again. The results turned out to be much better this time, although there are more improvements to be made. I also printed the popular Benchy and the result turned out to be quite impressive. Let me know in the comments below what do you think about it. Also let me know what would you like to see me print using this 3D printer. I will be using this printer for many of my upcoming projects. I will also do detailed tutorials on Marlin firmware and slicer software such as Cura and Slick3R. You can find all the information related to this build, part links, diagrams, software links in the video descriptions and also in the detailed blogs I have written. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial series and thanks for watching.